meaning life. Um, I think it's to do things you love with people you love and be the best version of yourself. Yeah. And you know, have fun. Have fun. Have fun is super important. I grew up listening to Springsteen 70s records. It's about all kind of like about embracing life, embracing the adventure, and me longing to explore the world, you know? So as soon as I had the opportunity to do so, I did so. I'm pretty happy how everything turned out. You know, I'm now, I'm almost 50. If I grew up here, maybe I would be over it, you know? Maybe I'd to Arkansas. <laughs> a surfer in Sweden? Freddie Meadows. My good friend Freddie Meadows, for sure. He's been really like pushing, pushing the envelope, or what do you say? It's interesting when you talk about something that really matters, and, and, and when you talk about like close friends, you want it to be right. Yeah. Now I'm, you know, I'm talking about Freddie. I, I love Freddie. You know, being raised in Sweden and to be at that level that he is. You know, you asked me if I was like sad or if I would have wanted it different, you know, to grow up here, to grow up in a surfing community, you know, like both how he explores the, the Baltic, you know, we have surf in Sweden and yeah. he's been really exploring like slabs, all kind of like, you know, crazy, super challenging waves, cold, like, you know, 654 neoprene going out with a boat in the archipelago and you know pretty chaotic and crazy and and uh now the last last year served Nazareth for the first time so he's really he's really pushing himself to become like a big wave big wave surfer you know mm. So you flew in from Sweden yesterday. What's the history of sur Sweden and surfing in Sweden? Surfing in Sweden was back in the mid 80s. Two guys go to school over here in high school in, in California. Came back home. One part of history and the second part of history was there was a big movement of really great windsurfers uh, traveling to Hawaii, late 80s. And one of my good friends, uh, Marcus Buman, was a standout uh, windsurfer. He surfed, uh, he surfed Jaws and Ukipa with, with all the legends. And then he came back home to his native Valdai. And he started to explore, uh, explore the waves in his, in, in his backyard, you know. So Marcus is definitely one of the, the OG, OG surfers in Sweden, you know, together with a, with a handful of, of other Stockholm native surfers, you know, they were traveling in Australia and California. What's the weather in Sweden right now? Two or three degrees. Actually snowing yesterday. Too many, too many, too many, too much to shoot. Yeah. So with Surf Academy, we have like a yearly migration. And so we go, you know, winter time, December through March. Our, um, our home is Santa Teresa in Costa Rica. So it's on the southern tip on the Nicoya Peninsula, so it's like Pacific, Pacific side. Um, a variation of beach breaks and a few like little cobblestone. There's a one of my actually my favorite waves in the world. Uh, it's what we call like the tropical Malibu. So it's a beautiful, beautiful right-hander, half an hour from from our retreat, um, and it works best on a pretty massive south swell. Wraps around beautiful it just goes and goes and goes and goes so that's like a legendary wave it's like this this song free jazz song and then it's like you know the, the drummer says okay now you come in you go, you go, and you can add your vibe to it you know? I think that's, that's the, the epicness of surfing when your own BPM is kind of like flowing in with the wave and you kind of like play together all right, boogie time. <laughs> <laughs> 